Can you imagine breaking into the data science field and spend your day working on interesting and fulfilling projects? In this video, I'm going to share how I became a data scientist coming from a non-tech background and how you can too. Hi, my name is Gabrielle, an ex-data scientist at an e-commerce company and currently a software engineer at Google. Last year, I transitioned from a non-tech and non-STEM background to land a job as a data scientist by completing a Master of Philosophy in Machine Learning at Cambridge. The transition process took around a year. I'll share some tips and steps that I discovered along the way so that I can help you become a data scientist as well. So first of all, what is a data scientist? There are many definitions, but the one I like the most is one that is provided by a fellow Googler in a Medium article. It says a data scientist is someone who wears three hats at once. <laughs> it's a combination of a data analyst, statistician, and machine learning engineer who use data to bring an impact. When I was a data scientist, I worked on NLP. I trained and deployed machine translation models that translate product descriptions on e-commerce websites. The role varies across companies, so it's important to ask the recruiter what exactly the role entails and what projects you work on. For example, there are two kinds of data scientist roles at Google, product analyst data scientist and quantitative analyst data scientist. The product analyst thinks like a product manager, to find insights in data, such as through A-B testing, to support developing new features across teams. While the quantitative analyst is more technical and works on longer-term projects focusing on a particular problem, such as implementing new algorithms. Why become a data scientist? There are three key benefits. First is you get to solve interesting machine learning problems and have exponential career growth since this is a relatively new field. What's the difference between a machine learning engineer and a data scientist? A machine learning engineer is later in the pipeline. They focus on deploying models that data scientists developed and trained. So I would say a machine learning engineer is closer to a software engineer than a data scientist. The second benefit is you can make an impact in any industry that you desire. For example, in finance, it could be fraud detection, financial product price prediction. In e-commerce, it could be anomaly detection and orders or customer churn prediction. In any industry that requires customer service, bots that can help you with specific queries. In the healthcare industry, it could be detection of diseases using computer vision. The third benefit is a practical one. It's a salary. According to Glassdoor, the data scientist salary in the US is 120K US dollar. And in the UK, it's about 50K pounds per year. That's around 60% higher than the average salary in each country. Let me share the four key steps that I took to transition from a non-tech background to a data scientist. The first step is a master in machine learning or a related field. If you want to land a data scientist job quickly and have the financial means such as scholarships, I'd highly recommend doing a master in machine learning, AI, or data science. Post-grad qualifications is crucial in the screening stage because a lot of the data scientist roles require a master or PhD level education. From my observation, most of my teammates in the ML team have either a master in computer science and even a PhD in STEM. It is because there's a need to understand statistics and more complex deep learning techniques in this role. While there are self-taught data scientists out there, for example, this YouTuber, and there are some blogs saying people who manage to do that, those require more work experience in a related field, so it may take longer than doing a master. Take me as an example. I come from a non-tech and non-STEM background. I did a bachelor's of arts in economics and worked a year in management consulting in finance. Then I did a year of MPhil machine learning at Cambridge, which helped me transition to the tech industry. I have shared more about what I learned in the master in machine learning in a separate video that I'll link up here. The second step is related work experience to gain technical skills. Be open to take job opportunities related to ML that has a lower entry barrier, but can be stepping stones to the data scientist job, be it an internship or freelance job. There's a Cantonese saying, you ride a cow to find a horse. Indeed, riding a cow is faster than walking and you can still actively look for a better job. For example, I worked as a software developer in companies whose product is ML-based. So although my role is focused on front-end development, I can gain exposure to machine learning, such as training models in the cloud, evaluating models based on some metrics, deploying models, 
using Docker and Kubernetes. One of my previous boss also recommended a deep learning textbook for my personal development before I did my master's. Those technical skills came handy when I became a data scientist since I was responsible for end-to-end -end from data cleaning, model training in Kubernetes, model deployment on Google Cloud Platform GCP, and ad hoc statistical analysis such as power analysis. The third step is machine learning projects. I'd recommend doing some personal machine learning projects in your own time to both build your portfolio and see if you actually enjoy the hands-on work of a data scientist. If you want some inspiration for ML projects, I recommend checking out the Kaggle competitions, which are usually based on some hit topics and they provide data sets for you to use. You can get open source data sets from Hugging Face, which is my personal favorite, papers with code, using open source models from Hugging Face as a baseline. As a starting point, I recommend you replicate the results in some papers and then tweak the model. For example, I both did a personal ML project before my master's and I did a three month ML project for my master's dissertation at Cambridge. Both experience prepared me for doing experiments on a daily basis as a data scientist. Let me know if you'd like me to talk more about ML projects in another video. The fourth step is networking out of curiosity. Networking is not just for recruiting purpose, but it is really to talk to people to understand what does the data scientist role involve, what kind of projects you work on. For example, I originally joined the e-commerce company as a software engineer, and later I asked my manager if he could connect me to the ML team. I'm very grateful that my manager is very supportive and helped me set up a meeting with the ML team lead where I learned about the projects that the team is working on, and they all sound really interesting. Soon after that, I requested to move teams to the ML team. And so I interviewed and then later got accepted to join the ML team as a data scientist. Therefore, people connection was the key to how I got my data scientist job. So I recommend you to connect with any contacts you currently have to learn more about the data scientist job. To conclude, data scientist is a challenging but highly rewarding career that is in high demand. I hope the four steps that I shared would help you to become a data scientist. One thing I learned in the process is to believe in yourself, even if you fail, because those failures are great lessons that help lead you to success. Let me know in the comments if you want another video about how to become a software engineer at Google or the difference between a software engineer and data scientist since I've tried both roles. Thank you for watching. Love you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.